Assalamu alaikum. My name is Mohamed Sapala and I am a teacher of history and geography in Smart School, Gustanijor campus. Today the topic of my presentation is uh, World Travelers. In this section we discussed uh, some important famous travelers from the past and their traveling history. Important besides being interesting. A uh, new route for places for later travel merchants and adventures. So brought back accounts of uh, different places and uh, different people and their different way of life. In this uh, today's century, we covered uh, a distance just from one country to, uh, to other country by airplane service by airplane. Um, from city to city by train or buses by roads. Uh, in this section, we discussed uh, three famous travelers, namely Marco Polo, Christopher Columbus, and Vasco da Gama. Marco Polo, an Italian merchant born in 1254. His father and uncle were merchants from Genoa who traded mainly in Constantinople. Um, Marco Polo uh, was raised by uh, his extended relatives uh, at a young age his mother after his mother death. His father and uncle most uh, spent his six, six years in Constantinople which had been under Latin control fourth crusade in 1204 when this was captured by rivals they went eastward through Central Asia Afghanistan Tibet and Mongolia um, the two brothers went to the port city of Solidaria where they owned a house Now here we discuss the traveling history of Marco Polo. Marco Polo was basically uh, a merchant which traveled uh, to Central Asia to China using Silk Route, uh, which was in used by a large number of businessmen and merchants. And uh, he spent most of his year in traveling uh, in from Central Asia to China. So. Uh, when this, uh, to give some idea of the speeds of travel in those days, it took the Polos three and a half years to reach the Chinese capital, which uh, now near Beijing is stand. This was in 1275. Uh, the Polos became rich and very important to the Mongol government. And Kublai Khan refused to let them return to Europe. They lived in China for nearly 20 years. till. In 1292, uh, they finally got uh, permission uh, to return to Italy. If they accompanied uh, a princess to Persia, where she was to marry a prince, the Polos made their way back to Italy, arriving in 1295, and became a captain of a Genu Genoese war ship. Uh, Marco was captured during the war uh, between Venice and Genoa and imprisoned. In his cell, he dictated his adventures to a fellow prisoners as his history was repeated to the Europeans for the first time. They found out that uh, the people of Asia were human beings like themselves with the same ideas in many ways, the same kind of lifestyle. And uh, Marco Polo's adventures and merchants explorers try to find a route to the east by sea. As you can see, uh, the traveling map of the traveling history, you can say, of uh, Marco Polo. We started from the Venice 
and uh, ended at China that is its capital Beijing uh, as most of the people uh, used to believe that earth was like a plate and that if one went too far one fell over the edge however you are starting to believe that earth was like a ball and not flat um bartolomeo dias that is one of the portuguese explorer and a navigator who was determined to find out and sailed southward across the coast of africa he crossed the equator and sailed on for many weeks keeping close to the shore then the crew found that the sun was rising on the right hand side of the ship whereas earlier it had been rising on the left of course was that dies and his man had sailed right around the southern tip cape of africa where now sailing northward but dies man then rebelled he was forced to return to portugal dies died in 1500 now we discussed uh, going to discuss the second most important um, traveler and is Christopher Columbus born in 1451 he was uh, an italian working in portugal for his brother who was a map maker his brother worked on a drawing maps and uh, Christopher Columbus became more convinced that the world was a globe and not flat and uh, that he could reach Asia by sailing westward across the Atlantic Ocean Now here we talk about the uh, traveling history of Christopher Columbus Explorers need help and support in all ages when columbus uh, planned to travel across the atlantic um and uh, across the atlantic the king of portugal refused to help him but the king and queen of spain agreed to give him the santa maria a 35 meter long boat and two smaller store ships columbus and his 90 men most of them were criminals let out the prisoners to take part sailed at the beginning of august 1492 um uh, during his voyage uh, there was a shortage of uh, both food and water so their men started to rebel but uh, after a few more days when they saw an island there were birds flying and uh, they found that there was an island nearby on 12th october they reached a small island in the present we called in bahamas he was sure that he had reached india and he called these islands a west indies when he reached the when he reached uh, on these islands his boats was wrecked and leaving some 40 men behind in a port from the ship timbers columbus was rewarded and made he back, when he back to spain uh, he was rewarded and made a noble man uh, in 1493 he again planned a bigger and better voyage with 17 ships and 1500 men and visited the islands that's known as Guadeloupe, Antigua and Jamaica with a large group of islanders as a slave the queen of Spain released at once as they went back on Columbus in third voyage but this time he actually saw the mainland of South America and he believed that it was just another 
uh, island near the coast of India. Columbus' success led to conspiracy against him and he was arrested and sent back to Spain in chains. In 1500, The monarch uh, ordered that Columbus and his brothers be released and their goods be written to them. So uh, he was released and also given his share in the wealth he had bought to the Spanish kingdom. In 1522, when Columbus uh, did his last expedition, uh, his last expedition was at Panama and he is still believing that he uh, reached another island near India. After his uh, died in 1506, he never realized that he had found a new continent actually, only that he had discovered a quick way to India and China by sea. Um, other islands which uh, Columbus visited were Joanna. Hispaniola, Hispaniola, Haiti, and Dominican Republic. Amerigo Vespasui, born in 1454. He was uh, basically an Italian explorer, and the name America was given by him. He worked as a navigator on the 1499 expedition and again in 1500 with Portuguese ships and uh, he realized that the coast of America was not Asia, it was a continent. So he published uh, a rough map of that continent. Now we talk about uh, the third traveler that is Vasco de Gama, born in 1469, was also a Portuguese explorer and a navigator and uh, set a sail in 1497 to try to find out a sea route to the east. Um, in 1497, he was appointed uh, to command an expedition equipped by the Portuguese government whose intention was to find as I already told, uh, my dam route to the east. Like Dias, uh, Vasco de Gama followed the coast of Africa until he reached the present day Mozambique and then went on the northwards towards the Kenya. And he found an Arab sailor um, who agreed to guide him to India. They reached what is now known as the Malabar coast, proving that peoples could get to India and Far East without going through Turkish islands. Fighting both with the people of Asia and among the Europeans, struggling to get controlled trade could now go directly from India and East to Europe. Uh, as Vasco de Gama returned to Portugal, the king immediately dispatched another expedition to secure a trading post or at Calicut. It was basically a, a, a port in India. After hearing of the massacres of all those uh, at the trading port, Gama sailed for India again in 1502 and attacking Arab Muslim ships he met on the way and forced the rulers of Kalika to make peace on his return voyage along the East African coast established Portuguese a trading post is what is now a Mozambique cube. As you can, uh, this this map shows the traveling route of the Vasco de Gama from Portugal to Cape Verde Island to Cape of Good Hope 
then to Mozambique and then uh, rode along uh, rode along the Arabian Sea the tip of India ended at the tip of India which is it was a Kalikat a port area thanks everyone